Yankee series opener against Cleveland was rescheduled due to rain. So I figured I would do something new rather than doing a series preview to discuss the upcoming series in Cleveland. I figured it would be more fun to just talk about something that happened over the past week that I really enjoyed watching myself. Baseball is a really fun sport and there are a lot of little nuances that happen throughout a series and throughout a, a daily game that I don't think are picked up by a lot of more casual fans. So that is something that I wanted to try to highlight today, especially regarding the Yankees, since that's something I know very well. And for me, the most important thing that happened over this past week was this specific sequence between Carlos Rodon and Miami Marlins first baseman, Josh Bell. A little bit of background. This right here is Carlos Rodon, who signed a six-year, $162 million contract in the 2023 offseason to come and pitch in the Bronx for the New York Yankees. Now, his 2023 season was very bad. He did not pitch well whatsoever. He had issues with the fans. There was blow-ups with the pitching coach and just overall a, a dismal first season with the Yankees. Fast forward to 2024, Carlos Rodon has pitched very well to start the season. He has a 1.72 ERA and has looked a lot better to start as opposed to his first year with the Yankees. Now, I know these numbers look a little confusing, but bear with me. Carlos Rodon is what is known as a fastball pitcher, meaning that he primarily pitches using his fastball and his slider to get a lot of hitters out. He is a high strikeout guy, meaning that he strikes out a lot of batters on a day-to-day -day basis, and he is known for having a lot of what's called wipeout stuff. You can see with these numbers here that his fastball percentage in 2022, he was throwing his fastball 61% of the time and his slider 31% of the time. Fast forward to 2024, where you can actually see that his fastball percentage is down to 56.8%, and his slider is actually down to 20.7%, which is a huge drop-off for a pitcher. He's effectively revamping the full way that he pitches to start the season. One part that's really interesting is he's starting to use a cutter 14.8% percent of the time, which you can see highlighted directly above my head right here. And you can also see that he is throwing a change up right over there 5.9 percent of the time, meaning that he is using those pitches to keep hitters honest, as they like to call it. And effectively what that means is he is throwing those pitches to make sure that hitters are not sitting on his fastball or not sitting on his slider because the better he will function a lot better if he can keep the hitter guessing. All right, what you're going to see here is Carlos Rodon starts off the at-bat with a changeup low and outside. What that does is that starts Josh Bell off very uncomfortable at the plate. Since Carlos Rodon typically throws his fastball by hitters or his slider to uh, drop off of the plate, it's a different look for the hitter to start. It's called pitching backwards. Um, typically, hitters will follow uh, the pitcher's lead, and the pitcher will start with a fastball to get ahead in the count because that's what they can locate their pitches with the best. Um, but for Carlos Rodon to start off with the changeup in that situation, it is a very weird weird sequence for him to start off with, given his history. All right, what you see here is now, after the changeup, Carlos Rodon goes with the cutter on the inside. For that sequence, going with the cutter on the inside after throwing a changeup on the outside part of the plate is a much different look. Again, Carlos Rodon typically plays off of his fastball, meaning that he's going to throw that pitch as frequently as possible. A cutter is a faster pitch than the changeup, but it is still a little bit of a different look. Um, so in this situation, Josh Bell is sitting there a little confused because he still hasn't seen a fastball and he still has not seen the slider in this at-bat. And that is Carlos Rodon's calling card. 
All right, and now what you'll see here is Carlos Rodon goes back to the changeup. Now what that does is going back to the changeup just completely throws off Josh Bell. He never once saw the fastball, and he never once saw the slider. That is a very uncomfortable at bat for a hitter, and somebody that was expecting those pitches just never saw it. Now that's also something to keep in mind that Carlos Rodon is very clearly comfortable with those pitches early on in the season, and that is huge for the Yankees. That is also huge for him and his confidence going forward. Uh, Carlos Rodon obviously has pitched with the fastball for most of his career, and that's how he made his money. So for him to be able to adjust and pitch differently is huge, not only for the Yankees, but for himself. It might seem very insignificant within the flow of a game, but that's just something that I really enjoyed while watching the Yankees this week.